Hi, you're listening to Book Chat with author Vivian E. Moore. Welcome, everybody, to this week's episode. We really appreciate you joining us. This podcast really shows us how we can all learn, live, and thrive off of each other. By sharing our knowledge through our conversations, we will impart some knowledge whilst learning ourselves how to progress even further. Here is your host. Good day, everybody. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. I hope you had a good week. Um, you know, I have to give you this weekly weather report. And right now, it's raining outside. <laughs> oh, it's just one of those days where you want to um, snuggle up on the couch with something hot to drink and a good book and a blanket or either, you know, a, a blanket and, and a good movie on on Netflix, you know, whatever floats your boat. But, uh, you know, that's the kind of mood I'm in today. I just, uh, a little bit before I came on air, I was listening, uh, watching actually a video of Bruno Mars. I love Bruno Mars. And uh, he was singing uh, Uptown Funk. That's one of my favorite song so I'm sort of in that kind of mood today it doesn't matter it doesn't matter that it's raining outside and plus to uh you know I got the I got the Holy Ghost in me too because we went to choir rehearsal today and it was just absolutely wonderful to be able to sing with my brothers and sisters in unity you know all being on the same page it was just absolutely great so um so I'm in a good mood aren't you glad so and I think I need to be in a in a good mood uh for what we're going to talk about today so uh let's move on to today's show the title of today's show is fame and the topic is exceeding expectations now how many of you remember the movie and the television show fame okay it was one of my favorite programs and i i loved watching the students um as they performed and and competed for the winning position uh, thus the honor of having this notable achievement associated with their name and who doesn't want that you know each performer was pushed you know, past their limits and, you know, they, they, they gave their all, um, and, um, everything that they had in them, you know, for this top billing. So, you know, we, we can all relate to this iconic show, uh, or to anybody, uh, you know, who's on their, who is on their daily grind, you know, trying to, to, to claim, you know, that name to fame, uh, because we live it daily on our journey to the top as well, you know, blood, sweat, and tears, go into everything we do and often it means we must work harder than the next person for that top honor all right there may be a few who might have sold out to satan too (laughs) but in the end they get what they wanted but not in the way they dreamed Let's be real, plenty of famous people own this title, but for all the wrong reasons. Now, I could name names, but I won't because it's not my job to do that. Still, (laughs) their star shines bright, but not in a positive light. And this is a cautionary tale for all who seek fame without realizing there is a downside attached to this goal for each win there will always be loss associated with fame it just depends on what you're willing to give up to achieve it so maybe you're not a performer and or you know whatever whatever um you do whatever your profession is um But still, you know, you want that title of fame accredited to whatever it is, you know, that, that you could be a writer, you could be a, a singer, you could be a basketball player, you could be a football player, you could be a track star, whatever it is that you do at some point in our lives, we all just want a little bit of, just a little taste of fame. We just do, you know, it is attainable, 
But you have to ask yourself, at what price are you willing to have it? Also, what is the real motivation behind wanting fame or this title, you know, per se? Some people never ask themselves that question. <laughs> Why? Well, because they rather not deal with the reality of what this means. You know, some crave it like a drug and they can't nor won't stop until that itch has been scratched. You know, they become junkies and they jockey for this position, no matter if they step on others' toes to have it. Now, you got to ask yourself, is it worth all that just to have fame, just to have your name and lights for everybody to know who you are? Well, for some people it is. But for those who would rather earn it the old fashioned way, you know, by blood, sweat and tears, then, you know, to each his own. But what I hate most is those that become sellouts for the fortune and the fame. You know, they're unwilling to navigate through the proper channels or work diligently to accomplish this goal through hard work and honesty. You know, if I, if I ever achieve a level of fame, I hope that it is through my own blood, sweat, and tears, through my own honesty and diligence, uh, because I work to have it and, 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 and not because, you know, I stepped on anyone's toes or undermined someone, you know, just to complete my goal, just to have, you know, my heart's desire, because I just have to be honest with you and tell you it's not worth it. You know, I, I believe that anything worth having is, is worth working hard for and, you know, getting it under your, you know, from from your own um uh from your from from your own abilities and and not depending on someone else someone else to give it to you or you know to to undermine someone else to have it you know is if you got to do all that then it's just not worth it you know and and I think a lot of people you know if you define it you know cuz I've I've always said and believed that the answer um to fame it is defined um by what it means to you so whatever fame means to you, then, you know, then that's how you'll come. That's how you will achieve it, you know. And, um, you know, if it, if, it, if it means stepping on someone else's toes or backbiting or lying or stealing or whatever to have it, then that's what fame means to you. That's the definition of fame for you. And then for others, it means what I said before, working hard, being honest, being diligent in what, in what you want, keeping your eye on that prize, you know, until you have it. And that's your definition of fame. Now, I think for the most part, some desire, desire it for, you know, selfish and superficial reasons. And <laughs> the crazy thing is, it's like, there are some people out there that don't even want it. They could care less about being famous. You know, they avoid fame like it's the plague, <laughs> like it's the plague. And they wouldn't even touch it with a 10 foot pole, you know, because they don't want to become exposed to it because they know of all the pitfalls that are attached to that, to that claim to fame. And it's like, they would rather, you know, stay out of the limelight, you know, do what they do and be successful at, at, at what they're doing, but they don't need that title attached to their name. But still, through no design of their own, they achieve it anyway and become overnight sensations. You know, some people do. And, and wow, you know, we all would love a piece of that action. But, you know, it's just not meant for everybody. And, and it's reserved for the faithful few. Sorry to all the folks who will crawl through the trenches to get just a little of that, <laughs> of that fame dirt on them. Um, and, it, and sometimes it seems like it's, it's just so unfair. You know, how some people don't even try hard and it's like, you know, they, they are the, they, they're just wonderful. It's like they're, they're already at the top. You know, it's like they start out at the top. They start out winning, you know, they don't have to do anything to get there. And, you know, you can attribute it to luck if you want to. I don't believe in luck. I just think that, you know, whoever, uh, can, can achieve this goal without working hard at it, that they're just fortunate, um, you know, to, uh, to have fame, to, to seek them out and find them. You know, what I think it is, is, is that, um, you know, one explanation is, is that the, you know, these people have the it factor and I'm doing air quotes. Okay. You know, or, or, or their path, you know, to this, 
to their success has already been designed especially for them. Some people are just blessed and don't even realize it. You know, they don't even have to work hard to, to, to have what they want in life. And I'm not saying that they, that they appreciate it less for that reason, because they don't have to work hard to get it. But I just think that, you know, when you, when you see, uh, those people like Keanu Reeves, Keanu Reeves is, is, is one of those famous people who would, um, you know, he, he would probably rather just fade into the, you know, into the, into the background, but we all know who he is. You know, we may not know everything that he does in his private life or all the good things that he does, you know, as a, as a philanthropist, but, you know, we still know who he is and, you know, we know that he's, that he's, you know, basically a good guy. You know, he's done so many great things that, um, that are just now coming out, you know, he didn't advertise it. He didn't broadcast it, but you know, those people who he did those nice things for, they couldn't keep it to themselves. So they shared it. So that's how we know about it. But he is one of those actors who, um, who probably doesn't even care about being famous. You know, he, he doesn't, he, he's not, he's rarely in the limelight and, you know, and, and if he is, you know, he, he's usually praising someone else, you know, for, for their attributes and not his own, you know, he's very humble. And that's something that you really don't see all that much, you know, cause most people who are famous, some have the big head, you know, I just have to put that out there because it's the truth and you know it. Um, and then there are some who, it's like, well, okay, I'm famous. You know, it's no big deal. You know, it's like, all right, well, you know, this is like every day for me. You know, I get up just like you do. I go to work just like you do. And if I'm famous, well, okay, you know, no big deal. You know, again, it's not that they don't appreciate having this title, but for them, it means something totally different. And that goes back to the definition of what fame means to you. And, you know, what I say is cheers, you know, to all of the overnight sensations who rocketed to superstardom and instant celebrity status because of, get this, a YouTube video or Instagram post. Okay, they're out there. I watched um, a, and I've, and I've seen this, uh, this, uh, this person's uh, YouTube I've been on their YouTube channel and I've seen their, um, their little posts and, and videos on, did I just say little? I didn't mean that. I've seen their posts on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and places like that. And, uh, and some of them are pretty darn good. I'm like, well, okay, I see why they're, you know, why the, why they're famous on, you know, YouTube or Instagram. This is, this is their claim to fame, uh, because they, they have that it factor. They do, they have it. And, you know, and they didn't go through Hollywood to get it. They just got online, made a video and boom, you know, they've got millions and millions of followers, you know, getting, getting paid every day. And they didn't go through Hollywood. You know, they didn't have agents and things like that to, to obtain it. They just, they did it on their own abilities. And, um, and I like that, you know, go for what you know, you know, if you know, you have, if you have that star quality in you, um, to be famous, whether that's your goal or not, you just want, um, you know, you just want to put your work out there cause you're an artist and you want to share it with everybody. And, um, you know, and if, and if for some reason it takes off kudos to you, you know, I am not a hater. I would tell you that first and foremost, but I do wonder sometimes <laughs> why, <laughs> why? All right. So that's enough for me, belly aching. Okay. But if we were honest with ourselves for a moment, we can all admit the idea of such an honorable recognition. It isn't a bad thing at all because we all want some level of notoriety, but no matter how hard we work, still can't inch ahead enough to claim that prize. You know, why is it so easy for others and so hard for, for some? Well, you know, that's that the answer to that is it's not it's not in me or my place to um to share that with you because I don't know the answer to that. You know, you gotta reach to a higher power for that answer. But you know, we but we want to. We want to live in the land of fandom where the fangirls and boys think we are the best thing since mm, I don't know, everything. However, there is one thing I know for sure. All things are possible if you work hard. Keep your eye on the prize and remain diligent on this quest, even if it seems what you most desire is just out of reach. But remember, it is yours to have. 
then after you've completed your goals and exceeded all expectations, can claim your right to fame. All right, folks, that's all I have for you today. And uh, before I let you go, I just want to give you a few URLs to share uh, because um, it is a privilege and an honor to um, to be able to do this show each week um, to, um, you know, keep it fresh and bring you something new, talk about things that maybe we haven't talked about before. And, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's a joy, uh, of mine to be able to, to chat with you, um, each week and to, um, you know, and just take it to a different level, to another level each time we, we get together. And, uh, so that is one reason why I want to reach out and give you this URL and you can share it, um, you know, with, with, uh, with your friends, um, to, um, you know, to other people who may like to listen to podcasts and, uh, and let them know that the show is usually only about 15 minutes long. I don't hold you, um, all day. I don't keep you for hours, um, because that's not my goal either. My goal is to uplift you within 15 minutes to give you the information that I have within that time frame, and then let you go. All right. So that's what I'm going to do today. So anyway, the first URL is to Spreaker and it is HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.spreaker.com forward slash user forward slash author Vivian E. Moore. You can also look me up on Facebook, uh, on Twitter and Instagram. Um, you can just type in my name or you can type in God's property. Uh, it's God's property, uh, 48, I think of 46 for Twitter. No, I take that back. Um, for Twitter, it is God's property 46. I was right the first time. And then for Instagram it's God's property 51. Uh, but with, uh, with Instagram, um, you have to message me, uh, for me to accept your, um, your request to follow. And then I will follow you back. Uh, and also, um, if you want to check out my website, um, I've been doing some things out there, um, and I'm thinking about changing from, from the Wix site to something else. But anyway, um, you can just type in my, um, my, um, URL to that. And it is, and it is HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash www.authorvivianemore.com. And also if you read the blogs that I put out there on, uh, on Blogspot each, each week, um, then let me give you the URL for that one. It is HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash Vivian E more dot blogspot dot com. Um, and, uh, coming up in November, um, I do have guests scheduled for a couple of Saturdays. So on those weeks, um, that I have guests, I usually don't post a, a blog. So, um, I've, I know I've said this many times before. I just want to give you that refresher so you know. But anyway, if you missed the live show today, um, don't fret. You can listen to the recorded version uh, on uh, either Spreaker or you can listen to it on iTunes. You can listen to it on um, Spotify. You can listen to it on SoundCloud, YouTube. Um, you can listen to it on Google Play. And I think that's it guys. I think that's, that's it. Cause I think iTunes and Apple is the same, it's the same channel, um, that you can listen to it. And, um, and I'm just, I'm so thankful that it's spread out over so many different, um, avenues, um, to where, you know, to whichever one is your favorite, you know, you can just listen to it on those. So I'm thankful for that. And I'm thankful for you, um, for being faithful to me, uh, for listening to the show, um, you know, if you get the opportunity, like the show, uh, on Facebook, like it on Spreaker, um, you can go to, um, to my page. If you look, if you go to my URL on Spreaker, uh, please like the show and, and leave me messages. Um, if you will, um, although I am thankful because I know that you're listening to the show because I get my stats each week and that tells me that you are listening. And I appreciate you so much for that because, um, this show has turned into so much more than what I ever thought it would, or what I even hoped for or dreamed of. And I'm just so thankful for it. I mean, I'm just on, you know, once a week for 15 minutes and, uh, you know, and it's, it's getting a great response. So I thank you so much for that. All right. So tomorrow is worship day and I hope you're planning on going to church. I hope you will 
take some family members with you um, that don't go on a regular basis, take some neighbors, take some friends, and by all means, take some children and tell someone that you love them because tomorrow is not promised. Today may be the only chance you get to say that. So I love you. I hope you love me back. Until the next time you hear my voice, God bless you and goodbye. Loved what you've heard on this week's episode? Well, the answer is simple. It would mean the world to us if you could head over to iTunes and leave us a five-star review and feedback. Spreading the word really is the best way to grow our podcast and achieve even greater things. Thank you. Thank you.